In Anderson County saying they're having big issues with flooding in their neighborhoods. 7 News reporter Sophia Radebaugh heard from them and explains what the county council says they'll do about it. Well, this large sinkhole you can see here is cutting into a resident's backyard. Neighbors say this was not here a year ago, but as the flooding is getting worse in Anderson, so is the damage done to property. So all this is because of the flooding. If you see this giant hole, because none of this was gone before. Annette Dupree lives in an Anderson neighborhood called Cane Break. There's a creek right by her house. I have videoed water up to my front porch. I have had seen this entire cul-de-sac covered to where my neighbors have not been able to leave to go to work. She says every time it rains, she can expect bad flooding, so bad that it's now created a sinkhole in her neighbor's yard. We have chunks of land being ripped away because of the flooding. I have had um, stuff in my yard washed away. We moved in here in 2004. Maggie Redden is also feeling the flooding frustrations. We've lost six to eight feet of property because we used to could drive our car down on the other side of the magnolia tree. Both Redden and Dupree said it all began when new housing developments started going up throughout the county. And we've made the city aware of this now. Several of their neighbors have called a meeting with council members. Our fear is that with the further development on the East West Parkway, we're going to see worse flooding conditions. Anderson City Council sent 7 News a statement saying they are, quote, committed to helping the group get a response from the state level transportation officials since the majority of issues and complaints centered around the east west connector. But Dupree says the hope that it'll get fixed soon is slim. More development Anderson is good for everybody because it brings wealth to the community. But at the same time, the people who are already here have to matter and our homes have to matter and this huge issue that is also a very big safety issue has to matter. Some residents say they are planning on having another meeting with city council and county council to talk about these flooding issues. In Anderson County, Sophia Radebaugh, 7 News. Now the folks in the Cane Break neighborhood say they are also trying to get state representatives involved. New tonight, there's more shaking 